It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Sapporo in Japan. But it's not their regular Sapporo Lager. This is their Sapporo Black. Look at this. 650 milliliter can. 5% ABV. Look at that. Now, this was sent to me by the lovely Ryan. Thank you very much, Ryan. I didn't even know this beer existed, to be honest with you. Uh, this brewery's been brewing, brewing beer in Japan since 1876. Two years before this very house was even built. Uh, described as a perfectly balanced blend of roasted dark malts with refined hot bitterness. This is one bold lager with an uncommonly smooth finish. I'm dead excited. I really like the Sapporo cans. I remember being really impressed when I first reviewed Sapporo lager on the channel. And I must revisit it, to be honest. I must revisit it. I must buy another can. But I think I used to be able to buy Sapporo in Tesco. In these very cans. I'm not sure if you still can. But let's get it out. I got my German Moor Beer Company pint glass. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Look at the wonderful, I just love this can. I love, I love the uniqueness of it. What oh, did it go? It did. Do you know what? That is a big, it's like a tank. Even the even the can feels like a tank. Do you know what I really like about it? I'm squeezing that can as hard as I can. Look, look, it's not like I'm messing about here. I'm giving that a really good squeeze, and because of the way the can's designed. Well, there's a little bit of crushing, but there's next to no crushing going on. I tell you what we'll do. Once we finish this review, we'll do the Sapporo Can Crushing Challenge. See, post it on social media, pour your beer first, don't waste your beer. Pour your beer first and see who can crush a can with their bare hands of Sapporo. Either their regular lager or their black, it's going to be in the same style can, isn't it? Note, hi Simon, here's a couple of beers to review on the channel. The other one's in the fridge. Haven't seen much about Sapporo Black before. I really enjoyed it. So interested to hear what you think. Cheers, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan, mate. Look at this. Black Lager. Two to three finger. Tan coloured head. Good levels of carbonation. Chasing the head up the glass. It's a dark, dark looking. Lager. It's not jet black. It's not jet black. You can see that there's a little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass there. In fact, this, this, this glass, this very glass has that same design look. Has that same like chamfered design as my beer glass and I picked it by accident right aroma on this lovely looking dark beer then oh, wow loads of roasted malt It's almost like treacle. Roasty, toasty, biscuity, bready. Loveliness, really. A little bit of sweetness, caramel.
touch of coffee. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wow, that is absolutely delightful beer. Biscuity, bready, nutty. Do you know what it tastes like for me? If I was to choose a style of beer, it would be a very light Baltic porter. This has a lot of characteristics of Baltic porter about it, but a 5% version of a Baltic porter, but with loads of body, loads of body to the beer. It's biscuity, it's bready, it's nutty. It's hoppy, it's peppery, it's spicy. There's caramel flavours coming through. There's hints of bitter dark chocolate. There's hints of coffee. What a wonderful beer. I can see, I can see why Ryan bought this and probably had a little look at my YouTube channel, see if I reviewed it, and I hadn't. And this is what I love about beer. And this is what I love about the people who drink beer and decide to send me beer is the fact that they're not just content with what they feel about the beer. And this is, this is very typical for beer drinkers in general. Beer drinkers in general want to know someone else's opinion on beer. And, that, and that's why beer that's why craft beer, I think, is doing so well at the moment. Is the fact that it's not just your opinion that counts. It's the next man. You're standing in a crowd of maybe five people and you've convinced maybe three of those people out of the five to, to try something different, to try something new. But you're not just content to stand there and... sip and drink and enjoy it for yourself you want to have a discussion about it you want to talk about it you want to ask them are they enjoying the beer as much as you're enjoying the beer and that's what i love about beer i really do this is fantastic this is absolutely fantastic beer but i can't put it off no more now being a carpenter i know that the top of the can will be slightly less rigid than the bottom of the can the base of the can so i'm going to have a go i'm going to call it the sapporo can crushing challenge buy a can of sapporo obviously drink the beer oh that's as far as i can go i didn't even get the can to touch the sides that is one immense. Now, just think about this for a moment. If I if I got a normal can of beer, empty can, you just go and it would crush, wouldn't it? That took all of my strength and two hands, and I didn't even get the can to touch the sides. Oh, maybe. I just, well, I just, I just did, I just did. But that, that was a mean effort. That was a mean effort. So maybe I've started a new online craze. The Sapporo Can Crushing Challenge. Rating. Thank you, Ryan, for sending the beer. Rating for this wonderful, wonderful, one. look at it, look at it. Wonderful dark lager. Looks good, smells good, tastes incredible.
Amazing. Amazing beer. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Low Craft Beer. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Thank you so very much for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.